Hello, I'm here in Golden Prague, the mother of all cities and the centre of Europe, doing the Central European thing, you see. Now this involves drinking vast amounts of beer, eating vast quantities of meat and having constant indigestion. It's marvellous. Here in Prague, all the locals are very, very shiemly. Apart from the petty criminals, the mafia, shop assistants, people who work on the trains, uh, people who serve in pubs, and uh, Italians. Apart from that, everyone is very, very pshemni, which is Czech for nice. They do, however, have their idiots. And I was talking to some of their idiots the other day, and they were saying that as our brilliant British idiots have voted for Brexit, they were thinking about having their own referendum and voting for a Czechsit. Now, apparently, the Poles have Plexit, and the French, Frexit. Uh, but the Italians can't even be bothered to think of a word for it because they're too busy trying to sleep with their neighbours' wives. Hello, it's me, Hugo. I'm still abroad, but this time I'm in Poland. And where the people are of Polish, I like them very much. They're very bright. Now I know I have something of a reputation for uh, mispronunciation that sometimes leads to uh, levity. Although over here I had an interesting experience with uh, two of our uh, tour guides, you see, whose English is um, idiosyncratic. The first one said to me, uh, Do you have crabs? I said, Yes. But only once a day. And I've already had mine today. And the other one said, no, 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 he means creeps. He said, would you like creeps? And I said, well, I hang around with Bobby Nibbler. Anyway, they showed me the place they were talking about, which turns out to be a pancake house. As a responsible member of the community, I feel it's my duty to inform you about certain uh, goings-on concerning uh, this gentleman who I'm led to believe is a police informant. Now apparently he told the Essex police that Alistair Cook could sing the treble part of any hymn you can mention while scoring a hundred for England. He also told the West Yorkshire Constabulary that Johnny Bairstow has been working on his wiki keeping. On top of all this, he told the Greater Manchester Police that Jimmy Anderson can swing the ball up both ways. His name Mowing the Grass. I myself love cricket, indeed. In fact, I remember a while ago, I was playing in a charity match, you see. And the captain, before we went out, you know, he said to, he said to us, oh, you know, we're going to make it a real event, real entertainment, get really engaged the crowd, you know, and make it fun for them, and, you know, and interact and stuff, you know, and really show them a good time, you know. Anyway, we lost the toss, and the other side batted, and we were, we were in field, you know, we were bowling. So anyway, so we got out and the captain was arranging the field and he put me uh, backward of point on the, you know, uh, no, sorry, backward of square leg on the boundary, you see, you know. And uh, anyway, so I went over there, you know, and uh, there were some very lovely girls sat there, you know, some deck chairs. And I sort of said, hello ladies, how are you doing? And we had a little chat, some fun, you know, and some, you know, smiling and giggling and whatnot. Anyway, a while later we were having, we were sort of chatting, and anyway. The ball whacked me on the back of the head and went for six. And the captain, he said, well, what's going on, Hugo? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing, you silly fool? I said, I'm doing exactly what you told me. Because you said to me, I want you over there on the pull.
I'm led to believe that Kimi Raikkonen is a very useful uh, right arm fast bowler. He's not exactly Stephen Finn, but he's certainly a Finnish. That joke also works with um, Al Jolson, who apparently was a very decent off spinner. He wasn't really tough, Nelly, but he was nearly swanny. A little known fact of the cricketing world is that famous batsman from Australia, Victor Trumper, who played around uh, the time of the First World War, lived up to his name, as is attested by the fact that while he was batting, nobody ever fielded a short leg. 